uh, Vasundra uh, Majithia is saying, how do you respond to the argument that France's free speech laws are hypocritical because they don't allow flag burning, Holocaust denial, etc.? Um, I, I actually agree with that. I wrote about that in the yeah. book. Said that yeah. France's laws, uh, that you know, that this kind of thing, hate speech, uh, hate speech, hate speech, right? Should be. Um, I think the U.S. protects hate speech under, under its First Amendment, but uh, yeah. France doesn't. Right? Who was that fashion designer who got like? He said something about Jews in a bar, and then he was jailed for six months. I mean, you'd never see that happening in the in the U.S. Yeah. Right? That is, yeah, it's it's amazing that um, France, which is the birthplace of these Enlightenment values, managed to export these values uh, to United States, and they're being carried out more effectively in United States than than the birthplace of these ideas. Uh, I think it's a betrayal to France's um, commitment to Enlightenment values that. Holocaust denial or flag burning is illegal. I hope, I hope one day they manage to make all of these legal. And right. again, and, and it, that's why I raised the alarm when, I know, I know Trump will never be able to do this, but even mentioning that people should go to jail for flag burning in the United States from coming from such level of, um, such a level of authority from the highest office in the United States, that is or that's a major attack on enlightenment values. And we we called it out when Trump said that. Flag mm -hmm. burning should be legal as long as it's done safely. And Holocaust denial should also be legal. Um, yeah, we've been very clear on that.